everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the morning of day 97 on my Darkness Falls series. So we are about to go outside. Uh, I got one of the doors put in play yesterday. Got this one ready to go. We're gonna go and get that wired up and done first. Uh, I'm not gonna get anything wired unless I get my wire tool. Uh, you. So we're gonna get that done today. Got some stuff to sell the trader. And I've been trying to find jobs from them that we can get. Oh yeah, our door too. We gotta get the door on there, the sci-fi door. Put that on there Good today. Good morning to my favorite customer. Hey, how's customer? it going? Uh, can I see your inventory? You got some stuff here. To s I got some stuff to sell you, that is. Um, we'll use that to fix our current ratchet. All of this stuff can go though. Uh, our axe, how's it doing? We're fine. Uh, I could take the die out of that. We we don't need the helmet anymore. Let's just get rid of this stuff. Don't want the bow, huh? All right, we made nine grand. Not bad. Now I don't think. Oh yeah, it's day ninety-seven. So you did restock. We're gonna take the two awesome sauces. Learning elixir. Do you have anything major that we could get from you? Schematics. I probably want to buy those. What else do you have? More schematics. We'll take all your schematics. Um, do you have any bullet tips? AP 9mm, though, we'll buy that. Uh, what else do you got? Nothing there. Nothing we need there. Any plastic? She had 22 last time. This time she's got 42, so we'll buy that off her. Um, what else? Nothing else that we really need. Well, you just brightened my day. Did I? I'm glad I did. I'm glad I could help you. Here's one of these guys. All right, grab what we can, as cheap as we can. So they were 311 before, now they're 187. Awesomeness. Uh, where are you here? What else do we want? Oh yeah, the plastic parts. We we're buying all your lead. Saves me mining it. Uh, polymers. Where was the other... Where are you? Schematics. Well, I don't know why they're in there. Whatever. That was definitely well worth it. Saved a bunch of coin there. Uh, was there anything else here that we wanted? I don't know how much buckshot we have. But for 135, we'll take it. Uh, oh yeah, the AP 9mm. I don't have enough. Oh. How much do I have enough for? I got 426, so like maybe 40. Yeah, pretty close. Alright, well that was worth it. Definitely worth it. The 30 schematics on their own for that cheap price, that was Remember totally worth me it. If you need medical supplies. I shall. Got to close your door here in case some crap goes down while we're doing what we're doing. All right, let's put these away. I don't need you. Let's bring you down. Let's bring you down. I don't have my friggin... I took it out of my backpack because I'm like, I don't need my... Uh... What's it called? Oh my god, brain dying here. Nail gun. Thank you. I don't need my nail gun on me. It took it off me a couple days ago and I forgot to bring it, put it back on again. Okay, so first things first, let's get the door into place. Uh, mm, no, because then I won't be able to get back in. Let's dig a hole right here. And this is where we're going to put the power supply. Put this like that. You can dig under there. And there, and there, put the rebar in, at the bottom. Uh, I think we need to go down one more. Um, bring you out. I think we need to break these out too. I mean, I don't think we really need to, but just in the interest of protection. Plus it reinforces this wall a little bit. Once again, digging down in your base, like you don't necessarily have to dig a block down, but I always find it's just good practice to always 
put blocks one down underneath your main structure. With things like cops and demos, right? They just give you a bad time. Alright, let's just do that. That's where the... Whatchamacallit will go. Power supply. And uh, you know what I forgot? I forgot my... Yeah, I forgot my uh, hatch upstairs. That's okay, we'll get this wired in. Now, um, power supply first goes down here. Like so. And then we need the motion sensors. Need one there. Right? Yep. Yeah. And then we need one here. Just afraid that's going to get broken. Nah, it is what it is. Let's get this out of the way. My bat cave exit. Um, alright. Now, we need to wire from- I need gas too, so I have to go back inside. I forgot to bring gas. Figures. Uh, where are you here? Wire tool. Alright, so let's wire you up. You go from here... ...to there. And does it go from the inside to the outside? I can't remember. Yes, it has to. It has to. They gotta be on the same circuit, I believe. Like so. Right. It kinda looks weird, but... I mean, I know I could put a uh, thing in here. A relay to run it, but ah, I don't care. I don't care enough to do that. Alright, let's do this. Better be run over those guys' heads. We got uh, where is it here? We need fuel. Don't need that much, but we'll grab it. And then because it's just going to run all the time. What else did we need? Oh yeah, the hatch, which is in here. Here? Here. And our door. Yes. I need some steel. I need to upgrade the hatch. Don't need much. I'll just take all of that. Why not? Why not? So this door has got to come out of here. We'll do that in a second. I'm interested to see. I think we got to power this door, though. I think we do. Alright, so you... Oh, I need a bat. Ah, freaking engine, too. If that doesn't last to the end of the series, then I'm an idiot. There's like ton- like... Like this one's been running continuously for I don't know how long, how many episodes. And it's still got a shit ton of gas in it. So we should be fine. Oh, we only need one engine. Let's go grab that. I probably should... Start making auto turrets. And connect them to sensors by the doors that just shoot the zombies as they show up at the doors. It would make the most sense, I think. Uh, but I'm lazy. So where is- what was I looking for? Oh yeah, an engine. That's really what it comes down to, is how lazy I am to be able to go and do wire all that up. It hasn't been an issue yet, like I said, other than that behemoth fighting its way in to the basement. It hasn't been an issue yet. I'm sure with that, it's kind of a harbinger of what's going to happen in the future if I'm not careful. Alright, let's put you in there, turn you on. Then we can grab the door. Wait a minute, I gotta figure out, right, the power to the door. So, does it need to... Hmm. Was it this one that goes to the door? It is. Okay, so what do we have this one set to? This one is like one second and something, right? Instant and two seconds. Okay, so... Instant. Two seconds. And we're gonna point it like right like this. Do the same out here. So instant, two seconds. 
Just like that. Just so we gotta be like driving right up to the door. You know? There we go. That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. How much is how long would it take to make four regular auto turrets? Ah, uh, forget it. Let's do this first. Alright, now we need to break this out. Not that. This guy. Which is almost completely destroyed anyway. Those tall zombies couldn't get in, so they just decided to wreck this instead. Alright, we need to repair you guys. And I think... They at least need to be this way. To deter the zombies from... Going through the wall. Well, I guess, you know what, they're gonna go through the- I don't know, whatever. They're gonna do what the- they're gonna, Zombies are gonna do what zombies are gonna do. There's nothing you can do to stop them. At least that's what I find. I think we can go... in between there. And then I think we can get... Yep, that one done. Those two. And then the corner. There we go. So that- Wow, I didn't get this done yet? Come on. Get that block. There we go. Okay. Alright. Now, the door. It should work just like the rest of the doors in that... Oh, it doesn't. Oh, you can just click on it to open and close it? It's so cool. Even the sound. Now, can I upgrade it? That's the question. No, can't be upgraded. Uh, it probably needs titanium to repair. 25,000 hit points. Yeah, forge titanium to repair it. Still though. It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Oh, that's, that, I better leave it open though. Most of the time. Uh, okay, let's put this shiz away and figure out what we need to make turrets. So we can put this stuff away. Actually, let me get sorted here and then I'll be right back. Alright, now I cranked the zombies up to 32. <sighs> so, yeah, we need to get that done. Let's get the, where's the multi-tool? I put it away. For, I don't know what reason I put it away for. Didn't want to lose it, I guess. Let's bring you out. Let's get this guy out. These guys out. I'm going to have to repair some of the doors. So we'll pull that out. Uh, I'm going to need these guys for the SMG turrets that we're about to make. I think they're forged iron, which we've got out. Let's bring a little extra steel with us. Uh, then we're going to need, most likely, electrical parts, mechanical parts... Uh, you know what? It's, I think it's different in this mod. Um, I think the requirements are slightly different. Yeah, so mechanical parts, motion sensor, auto rifle, pistol, and AK-47 receiver. I think I wonder if I threw out the pistol stuff. I didn't. So four pistol barrels. Four of those. And four of those. We don't need these. So that should give us the SMG turrets, correct? Yep. So we get four of those going, and then all we need to do is power them. And they should cover the doors with no problem. I'll put those... I need to make 9 mil ammo, though, I think. Uh, I don't know how much I have on me. Oh, I get... Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a bit. So that's like 450 rounds of pop, which isn't too bad, I guess, for regular interlopers, but if they're a little tougher. So let's grab... Um, a thousand more rounds, maybe? It's so cheap to make. 9 mil is so cheap to make. Make a thousand more rounds for now. That'll, you know, that'll at least give us a couple of stacks in each one, I think, somewhere around there. 
Okay, uh, base stuff. Now I'm gonna need a concrete. Uh, this and what else am I gonna need? I got my steel. Oh, the second sledge is where did I put the second sledge? Because it's 32 zombies, I don't. I, I gotta be careful. One sledge might be enough. Mm, do I want to put the second sledge in yet? Like, do I need it now? I don't know. There it is. There. Let's leave it for a minute. I gotta think about this. Is it gonna be? Because I want to like gain a fair bit of XP off the next fights. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a tough call. Do I? If I leave, like, the great thing, oop, the great thing about having that turret there, might as well do this. Um, the great thing about having that turret there is that, um, the one turret is that we'll get a lot more zombies at the door. It's not going to stop the behemoths anyway, so it's not a big deal for that. It's just the flow of zombies to the door. So I think that'll let more than enough pass. So we'll leave it as one for, for now. And then we'll see a little later how we do. Let's do this. Get all that updated. Uh, I don't think we need to do these guys. This will be fine. Uh, do we want to do underneath us though? That's a good question. Like a line straight down here. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be breaking through there. I'm not that worried. I didn't bring any iron with me. I need iron to uh, fix the... It's so cool. Repair you so you're full. Yeah, we need iron for the spikes down here. Now, did I make... Where is the iron? Grab you. I don't think I made any more spikes, did I? I'm going to need more spikes, though. Oh, I do. I got 16. Actually, I should probably just... Um, spikes. 50. Just so that they're made and ready to go. I think I, I need this to upgrade the, uh, the wood ones. Christ, it sounds like Doom. They're very, I, I played, I played Doom 1. So people who've played the other Dooms, whatever, Doom 1 was the best. Um, in, not in terms of, like, if you put it up against other games, it's not better. But in terms of what it was for the time it was at, it was like, I, I played for hours and hours and hours on Doom 1, just trying to get to the next level, because it was such a huge difference than, um, than playing actually in an arcade on a stand-up machine. Which is what I had done previously, right? So it's like, what a difference. Do that. Don't use any of the important material on that stuff. Okay, now I probably should. Should I do the floor here? No, I think we're fine. They've yet to break through that part. They do a bit of work under here, though, so... I mean, I don't know. Let's just put the spikes in. Alright, I'm not going to do more than that. That should be fine. That's just hopefully to kill off, like, if if radi like their radiated dogs or whatever fall off. It's hopefully just enough to kill them off before they explode. But you never know. Alright, so we'll leave that like that. Ooh. Let's get these. I know these don't matter because they're not supporting anything really, but if the zombies want to bang on them and spend a long time banging on them, you know, more power to you. Now, what I should do, because of what happened last time, I wonder if I should 
update like this whole inside to steel here. You know what? I think that's probably an anomaly. Let's leave that. We'll leave it like it is. If they decide to break through a wall again, for whatever reason, I have no idea why the, like, why the guy broke through this wall. But if they decide to break through the wall again for whatever reason, um, then we'll update it. But until then, there's real, no real point. Now her door is fine. Those, because that's bugging me. Uh, what else? I think she's pretty good. I don't think they go... They don't really go after her anymore. I mean, they tried to go through here before. But, you know, there's no real reason for them to bang on this anymore. It's too reinforced. Okay, so I think we're good. Base-wise. Looks like there's a little damage up there, though. Let's have a quick look. So awesome. Yeah, I mean, I... I I played Doom for I don't know how long. Um, and then I bought... I was playing at work on a Mac. Uh, and then I bought my own PC at home. And... I started playing at home. Now where did I see that damage? I thought I saw damage here somewhere. Is it that? Yeah, so I bought my own PC at home, but I didn't have enough when I bought the PC to buy it with a sound card. Like when I, I think my first PC that I bought was a Pentium 133, uh, single chip, of course. I don't. Know. If you guys are younger, you might not know what I'm talking about, but a Pentium 133, um, and I'm trying to think now, it had. Was it? I can't remember if it was eight gigs of RAM. Sorry, it wouldn't have been gigs, it would be megs of RAM. I apologize. Um, was it 8 megs? I can't remember how many megabytes of RAM it had. It wasn't very much. I think it was 8. Well, for the time it was a lot. Uh, but I think it was 8 megs of RAM, I think. And when I bought it, I didn't have enough money to get a sound card, so there was no sound card installed on it. And, um... Wait, I needed to put a plate in here, didn't I? Sorry, getting sidetracked. Anyway, I ended up buying... Uh, the whole reason I, like, I was going to hold off before buying it, but the whole reason I bought it because of, was a friend of mine had, um, had bought the, the game, uh, Quake, and he was playing on his computer at home. So that was one of the reasons why I bought my computer is because I wanted to play Quake as well, right? So I built, uh, I, I spec'd out a machine, got the machine done, went and picked it up, and bought the game Quake, and I'm like, yeah, man, this is what I want. Um, and then um, I didn't have enough money to buy a sound card, so I had to deal with it without it, <laughs> which is ridiculous in its own right, playing a game with no sound. But I finished Quake from beginning to end. And I don't know how long it took me. It didn't take me that long, but I finished it from beginning to end um, with no sound. Killed the main boss at the end, and I'm like, yeah, man, that was awesome. And then I bought a sound card. And I played the game all over again, and wow, what a different ex different experience! It's like all the tricks that I had I had learned to survive when um, I I couldn't hear any of the any of the enemies. Like you know how nor normally enemies have like a fidget um, fidget sound, right? When they're when they're around, like some zombie, like the sleeping zombies in this game, you'll hear them kind of like snore every once in a while, right? Or at least it sounds like a half snore. Um, so I didn't, I wasn't able to hear any of the fidget animations, so I had no idea if there were zombies around, or, uh, sorry, monsters around or not, right? So I had to go based on pure, purely on instinct and hope that, I, you know, I could figure out where they would be and survive the battles, right? And then I played it again with sound, I'm like, wow, what a different game. Like, it's like, I was like, this is too easy now. <laughs> it's just, I know where, I, once I've, one, I've already been through it, so I kind of know where the zombies are, but two, is like, I can hear them. I can hear them, so it's like it's, it's they're not really a threat when you can hear them, you know, because um, you just you know they're there, right? Like it's like, but when you don't know they're there, it's such a it's such. Why is this so damaged? Oh, last horde night. Um, it's such more it's more of a horrific experience because like you don't know they're there, and then all of a sudden it's like they're on you, right? 
and you're taking damage but the thing is is you don't hear yourself taking damage right you don't you just you don't hear it because it's like it's not um, you just have no sound to hear it right you, there's just no you have no sound to hear it so you have no idea you're being hit unless you're watching your bar right your health bar but wow what a fun way to play just turning the sound off you know I I I hats off to anybody who's hard of hearing that actually plays video games and gets through them like I I, I played um, Lord of the Rings online for a long time too and um, I, I don't play anymore I, I can't play that game anymore it's not like I don't like it but it's just I played it too long I can't do it anymore but um, one of the people that I played with um, she was I guess you could call her legally blind um, so her screen was massively huge like when she was lo being able to look to look at anything right um, she, so everything was like like full size and, and um, her husband played with her right so they played side by side so he could help her out every once in a while but she was like the main healer so it was like she's playing the game but not really getting the full experience out of it because she can't see the graphics and all that stuff but she had kind of a rough idea what who was where now she had gone d uh, blind over time so she it's not like she had always been that way so she had an I like em enough of an imagination to be able to determine you know um, what was happening uh, which was kind of cool but the fact that she would s still play the game because she just loved it right well I thought was pretty awesome uh, what do we need to do? We need to break all this out. So we don't have... I mean, let's go talk to the trader here real quick. We don't have a lot to do now. Like, everything Another is set up and ready to go. Morning in the apocalypse. It is, isn't it? How can I help you? Got any jobs for me, Jen? You I gotta got a fetch. Bit of a problem. Large factory. Actually, what else do you have? A clear... I need someone who's willing That's the to circus. Take a job? It's not going to give us any books. Watch here to the west. You know you what? Need some work? This is dangerous okay. work. Okay. Um, I believe you can Don't have it. anything there for me. I think I bought all these. No other work. All right. Let's go drop this stuff off at home or inside and we're going to go head out. So awesome. I'm going to leave this door closed because I'll make a hundred of them if I have to so I can just leave <laughs> that opening and closing sound all the time all right let's drop all the gack in here uh, you guys can go in there bring you down I'm gonna leave both of those two here I'm not gonna need my upgrade tool I'm not gonna use it uh, but what I should do though before we go is probably grab this and do this make 50 more I got a feeling we might be nerd pulling to go get this uh, fairy treasure. We got to eat something too before we go here. Uh, what do we got? Food wise, let's use you and you and you. And that should probably be good enough for now. Put that back in there. Actually, let's grab this stuff out of here before I forget. Put that away here. Let me get the hell out of here. Uh, we got enough ammo. Oh yeah, I restocked. Oops, I used over a stack of coil rounds yesterday, so I just wanted to make sure we had enough ammo today. So awesome. I don't know why I didn't build that earlier. Oops, I guess I should move that. Maybe I should just park it inside and, and hopefully the zombies destroy it because I'm not using it for anything at the moment, so... Like, I, I mean, I guess I could have taken it over here, but it's just so much easier to get on the bike and just, like, drive across country. He says as he begins to wipe out. Um, that factory should be right here. Now, it's just a, Whoa, nice. It's just a fetch. Oh, it's, is it the shotgun? I think it's the shotgun messiah. We could go in here and nail a bunch of zombies, too. Now, I gotta check out how much XP we get for these quests. Yeah. Oh, it's Shamway. Another good building for, uh, like... 
generating a lot of XP. All right, well, where is it? Up on this side. You're bringing a club to a fucking coil gun fight, buddy. What did you expect? Okay, so it's up here. And I bet you it's near the front. Let's go have a look. So, I hear people... Oh, it's not. In the, in the middle. I heard very, various people talking about various things. And one of them was, what's the easiest quest you could take from the trader early game? And a lot of people said buried supplies. And I'm like, no, it's not. It really isn't. Um, and I guess it really depends. Buried supplies... Oh, shit. Bernie's. Buried supplies is... Okay. That lag. Right, I know where we are now. Okay, buried supplies is okay for the amount of stuff you get out of it early on. But the time it actually takes for you to do the buried supplies early game with a stone shovel, it takes quite a while to dig in. Ooh, I want to go for a double headshot here, but... Oops. I don't know if... Ah, god damn it. I don't know if the if the um what am I talking about? These fucking zombies. Okay. Uh, I was talking about what was I talking about? First of all, uh, fuck off. The penetrating round, that was it. And the supplies. It's everybody underneath me. Okay, penetrating around first. So if I penetrate the first zombie, does it lose power? Right? Ooh, are they going to come up here? Does it lose, like, strength? You know what I mean? Like, so if it penetrates one, is it going to lose, like, X amount of damage before it goes into the next one? Because if that's the case, then, um... Been a while since we've been here, eh? Uh, let's grab the supplies first. Oh, they're at that door. Oh, we got her. Click, 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 click. Come on. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> They're gonna kill me. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Ow. <laughs> that was hoping I would blast a lot of them onto the glass and they would fall down to the first floor. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, buried supplies. Um, what was I saying? Oh, shit! Really? Oh, that was a miss. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, there's another Bernie. <laughs> Maybe not the fetch is easier on this, on this particular game. But here's the thing. Buried supplies. Oh, fuck off. This is gonna get me killed. Okay. Deal with this guy first. So buried supplies, you gotta dig up, right, using a stone shovel early game. So I'm only gonna talk early game here, right? So you're, you're digging up, digging it up with a, with a stone shovel early game, and... Oh, fuck you! Okay, let me kill this guy first. So you're digging it up early game with a stone shovel. It takes quite a while. It's not easy, right? I mean, right now, everyone knows that you dig in the southwest corner. 
and you can find it easy. But they're fun, the fun pimps are fixing that, so you have to dig like a tremendous amount of way around to find where the damn stuff is, right? Oh, fuck right off. But a fetch, right, if you know the building that you got to fetch stuff in, it basically tells you right where it is. So, fuck. So, you can, um, and that's going to kill me. So, you can basically go right to where the treasure is. grab it. He says as he's so brutally attacked. Is that my reload? That's my reload. We're all reloaded. Okay. Um, oh, we've got a biker here still. I think he's part of the uh, wandering horde, or the screamer horde. So it te basically tells you exactly where it is. So early game, you're not facing tough zombies. Right? And you're being told exactly where to go. Right? To get it. Whereas the the um, the buried supplies, you have to kind of guess. And then wander around for, like, or dig around for a bit. It takes, I find, takes a lot longer. Okay, we got another respawn up here. It takes a lot longer doing it that way than it does doing it this way. Whereas, like, the fetch, you're not going to be going into a building like this. You're going to be going into a house, right? And it'll be like, oh, it's right here. And oftentimes, it's like, you just dig through a wall and grab it. You're done. Leave. You get more of a, re you get more of a reward for it, from what I understand. So this did kill somebody. Somebody important, too. Maybe it was that cop. So you get more reward for it. We still got to go up. But it's like right up in here. And as long as you're willing to like... Take the risk, like I am at this point. Alright, it's so on this floor. So now we just... Do that. Not the shotgun. That's going to get us killed. So it could be right up here. Yes. I know where it is. Especially if you know the building's fetches are like so much easier. Like for the amount of reward you get out of it. At least that's what I find. It's like so much easier to do it. And it's faster. So you could, if you get like three fetches, I would take three fetches over three buried treasures any day. Now, we should be able to find it like... There it is. See what I mean? Minimum minimum of fuss. And this is even later game too, right? An appeal, and a bigger POI like this, you know, you might have to worry about volumes of zombies, but if you do what I just do there, like when they come down like that, you just hop off the building, go around. That's people below us. Right, hop up the building, go around, wait for them to despawn, come back. And yeah, it's kind of... What do you want to call it? Brick? I don't want to... It's like a cheat way of doing things. I mean, you, you could just go through the whole building, but then you're... It's a clear. 
right? If you're just going to go fetch something, then go fetch it. But if you're asked, if you're going to go do a clear, go do a clear. All right, now, um, did I take another? I did not take another mission. I want, I want to know what's doing that. I'm interested to know what's doing that. It's got to be a mob. It's got to be some kind of um, zombie or something that's probably setting something off. Some kind of weird calculation or something. All right, that's nightfall. Uh, let's use the back door. All right, use the back door. Back cave door. All right, we gotta fix. Ow! 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 Shit! Ow! Let's go back to the front door. <laughs> Maybe we use that as the out. <laughs> I think we use that as the outdoor. We can get into this one a little easier. I gotta adjust that. I think we put some plates up out there and we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here, is there? Let's re oh, there is. Let's refuel the bike. Let's grab all this shit. Um, was that from yesterday? I think it was. I think I forgot to uh, take it out of the bike. I think so. <laughs> that was, sorry, that's just, just hilarious to me. Good morning, sir. Hey. I hope you oh, like that's reward. really nice. We'll take that and we'll take this. That's like an awesome. Uh, that's an awesome payment. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate that. I'm gonna hang on to that. Sell that. Sell that. You can sell all this. You and you. Bunch of little things in here that can just go away forever. Don't need the generic rifle stock. You don't want that, huh? I want the blue dye out of there, so I'll hang on to that. Ah, uh, what else? We'll hang on to the shotgun parts. Oh, these can go. Generic rifle barrel. Oh, you'll buy that, will you? Oh, the money All too. Right um, let's get the dye out. Stay safe out there. I mean, I know I can make the dye, but ah, uh, see your inventory. Right, you don't want that. Take that. And take that. We'll strip this armor apart. Break the tips down for the for the lead. Um, yeah. Today's 97. I think I already checked. Yeah, I checked your inventory last night and bought a whole bunch of stuff. I bought like 30 uh, of these. Well, you just brightened my day. Ah, you brightened mine. All right. Uh, let's get the stuff for farming going. Still <laughs> so damn awesome. Uh, whoever put that in the game, thank you. Thank you. It just makes this whole game worth it. All right. Um, let's put this stuff away real quick. We got 105 of these now. Oh, four. So we're close. We need 140 more bundles of notes, which isn't that bad. I mean, we could go after the Horde Knight. Could go on a wandering around to see if we can find them. Um, actually, let's just open all these really quick here. We could go wandering around and see if we can find some libraries, like in some of the towns we really haven't explored all that much on the other side of the map. And scrap that. Gunpowder can go in here. Okay, uh, farm plots. So we're gonna need... Did I make a... Why do I think like I made a bunch of farm plots? I thought I had... Yeah, 32. That's not bad. Um, 32 is an okay start, but what we do need to do is get some of this out of here this and this now how much forged iron can we make 1200 so let's get 300 going in there and we'll get 300 going in there we'll do the same in these two there's somebody outside A fucking watering horde. Yep. Fuck it. Main threat's done. Let's get down there. Come on, you guys. Come over here. Let 
here, you little shit. I don't believe you hit me. I don't believe that one. Oh! You can move fast. Holy crap, he was like right on me. I thought I had a second or two. I thought I had like a second or two before he got to me. My frame rate's all laggy too because of the it's sundown, right? Now I've got a few things anyway. I'm trying to keep this a little cleaner around here. Well, look at the guy's did a number on this. I don't have my repair tool on me. I'm trying to keep it a little cleaner around here. I, last night I went out and harvested the trees. I can leave this off. I did uh, go to the other side of the building and rip up a bunch of goop because I thought I would need a lot of rotten flesh. But I realized now that I got a shit ton of it, so I don't really need it anymore. This will just help the frame rate a bit. Help, help, help the game keep track of less items on the ground, you know? Alright, let's have a look over here. Oop, there's another fucking bear. Oh shit! Where were you? <laughs> what the hell? I saw something moving and I'm like, that looks like a bear arm or something. He must have been like right around the corner of the building. Like he must have been like right there. What the hell, man? I actually dug up all this last night. That must have murdered more guys. Okay, so we're going to turn part of this park into our farm. And I think I want to leave like, like we leave all the park here and then just make it look nice, you know? The frame rate. Look at this frame rate. My God. As soon as the sun goes down, it'll be fine. Um, like we leave this here and we take this area like right here and we turn this into the farm. Now, we need to go down a couple because what I want to do is I want to make a an irrigation system to water the farm as opposed to like rain catchers and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But we need a water supply which we need to put like down here. So I'll probably like create like a little pond, right, where the uh, irrigation system is attached to. I don't want to take too much of that up. I want to have it look natural out here. Then we dig up all of this. We turn it into the farm. Now, I don't need to worry about, like, zombies doing whatever to it. Because they're not going to really attack... If it's ground level, they're not really going to attack the farm at all, right? They're just going to, like, go right over top of it to get to the main base. Or to our base. And I think this range from our horde base... I don't think the zombies should spawn this far away. I think they spawn a lot closer. So we shouldn't have to worry about that either. We'll do this. Now from what Kane said, um, I watched him talking with another YouTuber about how to set up irrigation systems and farms. Basically what happens is, yeah, see my frame rate's fine now. Right, it's, got, it's just got something to do with the night, like, it's fine. I don't know. Um, he said, um, the farm plots, when they're looking for water, because they need water to grow, look around, they find the block with water in it, and take the water from the block. So if you've got just like one block of water in the center of your farm with no way to replenish the water, then it will steal the water and then you'll have no water left, which is why you use a rain catcher, because the rain catcher will replenish the water source over time, right? Did I hear somebody? No? All right, we're going to go to there, I think. That's be, that will be as far as we need to go. I think so. And we don't need to grow a lot. I mean, we've got so much stuff. But I can't lay the stuff in just yet because we need to get the water pipes in there. So that's what the forged steel was for. So we're going to go make some... Um, Gonna go make some irrigation systems. Yeah, that's really bad, eh? Can I?
This will help a bit, I think. It brings the surface up a little bit when you do this, so... Sorry for the repetitive noises, but... There we go. That didn't really help. But the other way to do it, I don't have any wood on me, is to make the... Uh, oh, I do. These guys. Right? And then lay it flat, because this is really not... Like, if you use a plate, the plate's got a little lip to it, whereas this is, like, completely flat. So you can put those, like, along there and on the outside to cover up that little gap, which I'll probably end up doing. Uh, what was I saying? So good. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to make the irrigation system. I'm going to get that going tonight. Uh, we should have some of this done now. It just takes a lot of... Like, it's, it's pricey, right? It's a lot of forged iron. And I think you make it in these guys. So, uh, yeah, irrigation pipes. i got to plan this out. Now, and you really want to have one... Per one per plot because when if you've got let's say one water source and four crops then when they're when one of them is ready to grow, go it's going to steal the water and the other three won't have any water to grab until it replenishes itself which is why you want to have one block of water per plot and that way it gives you the maximum um, growth speed that you can possibly have. So what we're going to do, I think, is... So I'm going to need 32 of these guys. Not necessarily just these guys, but I'm going to make 32... Well, I'll make 30 of these. Can I only do 29? Yeah, see how... Like, that's like... It's... The price is insane. Let's just do 20. Until we get the rest of the forged iron. Get those started. And then the day after Horde, if I remember, I'm hoping I remember, the day after Horde will build a farm. Probably what I'll do is I'm going to throw the farm plots in here. That should, in theory, remind me that I need to um, do the farm. I put it like right here. You'd think that, but you know, it, you know me. All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next day, which is going to be hard. See you then.